shell as told by iTunes is in the year 2929 the world has become interconnected by a vast electronic network that permeates every aspect of life that same network also becomes a battlefield for Tokyo's section 9 security force which has been charged with apprehending the master hacker known as the puppet master spearheading the vast investigation is major Mokoto uh, Kusanagi, who, like many in her department, is a cyborg officer more powerful than her human appearance would suggest. And yet, as the puppet master, who is even capable of hacking human minds, leaves a trail of victims robbed of their memories, Motoko Mot 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 begins to ponder the very nature of her existence. Is she purely an artificial construct, or is there more? That exactly is the ghost, her essence, in her cybernetic shell. Let's start off with something simple. The animation. It is good. It is a great level level of detail. The robotics look believable. The CGI looks dated, but at the same time looks groundbreaking for the time that the film was actually made in. It actually blends very well with hand-drawn animation, which also makes moments when the Major goes invisible to be believable and in total awe of just to look at. I mean, it looks amazing in every way. The voice acting and characters are good, and the story is, well, amazing, different. Um, I'm particularly proud that the main protagonist is, fe is a female, or just looks like one, depending on your viewpoint of robotics and cyborgs. The philosoph philosophy and themes of this film, I'm sure, have theses written about them in great detail, better than I can do for this review. But I shall at least try for to list some of them, if not go into great detail. The film has many questions about self, or a question of identity and sexuality, a question of reality, a question of purpose. Themes author Phil K. Dick, one of my favorite authors, played with this in novels and film adaptations like Blade Runner in particular. Also questions about the future and what it can hold. These are the questions we as human beings ask ourselves regularly, but when cyborgs ask these questions, it is, well, to put it lightly, a whole new ballpark, and the answer it answers it receives may not be what it is looking for, and its next stage in evolution leaves many to wonder what, what would happen next. I'm sure there are many more I am missing, but I will leave that to more skilled professionals and viewers like you to detect and interpret when you see this film. Overall, I like this movie, and is one I recommend it to anime lovers and moviegoers alike. To me, this is basically Blade Runner upgraded. In saying that, I am not insulting this beautiful work, but trying to compliment it by comparing it to another great sci-fi story dealing with robots and stuff like that. I give this film 5 stars out of 5. I last saw this film in high school in 2005. By that time, the film had been out for 10 years. Over the years, I've forgotten much about it, but the imagery stayed with me. Rewatching it, I can see how it has influenced such films as The Matrix, and getting to uh, understand this anime more and more than my young brain was able to at the time. I have heard though that the years that it has become one of the many animes in production hell for live action interpretation. Now last, uh, last year the live action film came out and I can see some of the spirits of the film in it, as in, in the anime in the film. And I hope it, and it did pretty well in my opinion, but that's another review. Um, See you in the future. Until then, ask yourselves, what is your essence? What makes you you?